Hey guys, what's up? This Mustang Spook Guy X Rolling back to GTA 5 with another LS Rally. Now, I've always raced these cars stock around the course. Meaning I didn't own any of them, or many of them. But, um, yeah, I have a fairly good collection of cars, and I thought I should give them a stretch their legs and give them a try. Starting with the fully maxed out Shafter V12 Armored. This I was the, for a long time the fastest car in GTA 5. Um, it's armored, so it can withstand one sticky bomb, and a lot of bullets has bulletproof windows, and it can escape just about anything, even supercars. So this should be incredibly good. Now it is rear wheel drive as it's apparently obvious here. This sliding and by a bit I mean a lot of sliding. But it is a phenomenal car to drive. It is incredibly fast. It's good braking. Decent braking I should say for a sedan. So I'm hoping my cars can do can maybe dethrone some of the bikes. Will they dethrone all of them? Probably not. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd give, um, my cars a whirl for, because, um, why not? I think that's the term to say. Yeah, why not? Because I've never really raced this car, or any of the other, uh, any of the other cars for that matter, are on this track today. But, um, we shall give it a go. Now, the fences pose no fear for the armored car, mainly because it's an armored car. Um, now these are ridiculously fast speeds you're getting up to, so we have mega air time, and, yeah, no massive problems, it has, I say massive problems, the oversteer is manageable, it's not like twitchy or anything, there's no, you can easily correct the oversteer, I've done it a few times on this run, but as you can see, it's a pretty easy car to drive as I go across the line, yeah, for a sedan, Pretty good. Pretty good car, as I say. It'll get away in terms of, like, in a chase from just about anything. And, run, and on the track, it's a pretty nice car to drive. Um, this vehicle is, once again, fully maxed out. A Truffle Nero, the equivalent of the, um, Bugatti Chiron in real life. And I love this car. I've driven it quite a lot. And, I do, and this is not the Nero Custom because it has the dynamic wing. Because I want a dynamic wing. There's only this the second vehicle in GTA history to have a dynamic wing. This is the um, the Nero Custom. Again, fully maxed out. And I love this car. I This is not the Nero. This is the um, stock Nero, I should say. Not the Nero Custom. I didn't want the Nero Custom. The Nero Custom does not have the option for a dynamic wing. Sure, you can make the Bugatti 16 something, the concept car they made for Grand Turismo 6. But, um, I didn't want that because I wanted the wing because I believe there's only two cars in the history of GTA that have a dynamic wing this and the T20, and this was cheaper than the T20. So, I wanted it. And we've been waiting for a second Bugatti to be in the game, or third Bugatti to be in the game for a very long time. Because I've never added one. Until this car came out. And as you might expect, this vehicle is absolutely incredible. Around this course. Um, no problems. Turning. Brakes are phenomenal. Um, top speed is as par for a Bugatti. And no problems. Any way, shape, or form. Helps when you have a maxed out car. Yeah, personally, I'd recommend getting off the road. Bit of a dangerous thing. And I did not risk it going full throttle through there. Because I didn't want to have to redo the run. Well, you're just an idiot. Um. So, yeah. I wanted a clean run. So I kind of went a little bit more careful than I might have been able to. But I know supercars have tended to struggle going through there. Now, this is a heavier supercar than, like, the X80 and the, um... 811 or something like that. I wanted a very, very determined run as we go across the line for the Nero. 
Yeah, ignore the blood. Ignore ignore the blood. Let's look at it from this side. This side's a lot nicer. Um, yeah. You can see why this is a amazing car. And why I might, I spent $1.5 million on it. And finally, the latest vehicle that came out today, while well, I'm recording this, for GTA 5, is my custom, I don't know how to say it, the, it's a, um, Progen. It's basically the McLaren 650S, alright? GT3 car. With the back lights of a McLaren P1 GTR. So, I love it. I love it quite a bit. And... This does not, this is not maxed out. It only has an upgraded engine. Because I wanted to make it a bit more like a, um... A GT3 car, because that's what this car is based on. So I wanted to make it basically as close as possible. So I got some race boards on and some not. Like, I didn't put a turbo on it. Because I believe all GT3 cars are naturally aspirated. So I didn't put that on. But the first run... Um, I carried a little bit too much speed. I don't want to have the, um, bottom out. That was a little bit terrifying, going through the gate, as I got a one-wheeled moment. Would you say one-wheeled? I actually do not know. I know, like, most of the car got in the air, but kept the foot, we kept my foot down. Um, um, I did run wide on the fence, so that was a little annoying. Yeah, this is the only vehicle that took a bit of time, took a bit of time. To get it right, most of the, all the other vehicles are on their first attempt with no problems. But this thing is just so much faster. It is a, at least it feels so much faster. It is a phenomenal machine that can get some overs here. We did get corrupted, though, by some boxes. Or boxes, some telephone booths. I don't know why, my brain just instantly said boxes. I don't know why, but it did. Um, and, yeah. I love this car a bit, so I would say it's definitely worth the near $2 million I spent on it. Um, yeah, down at $2.8 million. Not, not a whole lot for me, considering it used to be like 4.5, because this car costs 1.3, and then you add another 400000 on that for the, for the Benny's upgrade to make this into the custom car. But, it, yeah, there's just no other car... I think, I'm not going to say definitely, but I think that can rival its turning capabilities. Because this thing is ridiculously, re ridiculously responsive, and I love that. I love it when a car obeys you. A little bit of a wheelie through there. I didn't go flat out, and that's why I got only a little bit of a wheelie. We did slightly outbreak ourselves, but we didn't wreck it. We didn't hit anything, so we are good to go to finish the run. Unlike last time, where I completely outbreak myself. Yeah, I, I just think I can break so much later, and I can, but I can't break that much later. Somehow avoiding every single sign, go for a bit of a jump as we head to the line and across the line. Yeah. Um, how do I say this? Incredible. That's how I say it. I love this car to bits. And now one of the times it was out in the shadow of a doubt, first place, or fastest on this time, we'll go to the Italian GTB Custom. That's the name of it. I told you I remember. I told you eventually. Um, yeah, we'll say 139.19. Loses out to fourth place by six tenths, by six hundredths of a second. That is ridiculously close. And... Keep in mind, this is the first four-wheeled vehicle to go into the top five. This is a fifth-place four-wheeled vehicle. It is amazing. It's an amazing time. Now, down in eighth place is the Nero. Um, what was I? I forget the time, but it'll be on the screen. Um, a, it, it's, we finally have a car that can beat the trophy truck. It finally beat the trophy truck. It took a many, many horsepower four-wheel drive Bugatti Chiron, but we beat that trophy truck. The trophy truck is still somehow in, in the top ten, but the Nero did manage to beat it. And that trophy truck is still ridiculously fast. And down in 12th place, I say down in 12th place, that's still a pretty good time. We have the Shafter V12 Armored. <clears throat> yeah. 
a uh, pretty good vehicle. Um, it's one of the only sedans I think I've taken down this course. So we have no real rivals for it. But, yeah, it is just a phenom- All three of these cars are just phenomenal pieces of machinery. But, anyway guys, that's it for this episode of GTA 5. I'll be back with more.